AC or kind of like the old guard of SoCal. And mm -hmm. as time goes, right, we're seeing more new kids come up here to the bat and definitely trying to leave their name on the mark here. But we'll yeah. see how Elegant with the classic Elegant shake here, man, just psyching himself in for what's going to yeah. go down. I wonder how Charlie feels about this matchup because I've seen him like rant on his stream about how stupid Luigi is. But he but he says that about every character basically. I've seen like, Charlie play a mean Joy Con Luigi. Yeah. I'm telling you <laughs> oh, that yeah. right now. That. Okay, but here we go. Got himself already on the ledge trap, but the Cyclone is actually gonna beat that out. The thing for Charlie here is how often can you punish Cyclone, right? Even though we do see Elegant go through that quite a couple times, Charlie has to make sure he has himself spaced enough from Ooh. Cyclone so he can punish Elegant from going from that at the ledge. All right, just going to keep himself away at bay. OK, there we go. There's a neutral area. Another There's cyclone a Cyclone here. Just got him off the stage here. Charlie continues with the back end. That's really good because the way that Elegant space out, he's going to be able to hit Elegant right before he comes to him. No two frame. Can you watch? OK, he's able to get them there at the ledge here. Oh, that killed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it didn't look like it would, but it just did. All right. Elegant got to figure out a way to close out the stock. But uh, Charlie looking really good right now. I like that he backs off. He doesn't want to be anyone you know, like it's Rachel. He gets grabbed or cyclones. OK. He might lose it, but he totally knows how to DI that properly. Mm -hmm. If he rants about the character, right, he has to know how to fight him. Yeah. I think he's doing a very good job picking his battles. Oh, very nice parry, too. Yeah, just keep, yeah, keeps himself defensive once he knows that his turn is kind of over. He still has the advantage positioning, but sometimes he's not there on the frame. So I like that he decides to wait and pull up shield instead in the fear of being counterattacked or mashed against, you know? Yeah. Charlie at 156, Elegant 42, but he misses the up B because he's not enough at the range. That was the right idea. I, I think using the, the laser was a good idea. Just uh, kind of drifted a little bit too far down. Mm -hmm. Even did a B reverse, it looked like, afterwards, so to get the right positioning, so. Almost there. Looking for another two frame. Great opportunity to mix it up here with the up smash. Nice. Let's go to the ledge a little bit. He has to pay respect. He doesn't want to get hit by Cyclone. Yeah. Oh, oh. he fell out oh. and the parry and the punish. Okay, that was nice. Yeah. It's like he saw um, it going down, and then all of a sudden he just had to go in with the up smash again because he knew that he was going to try to mash out of it. Because Luigi's neutral air pretty much the only option he can do. Yeah, he, he, told, he, told, he told him, how dare you go for that? Yeah. Put some respect to my name. Goes for back air. I'm going back to back here. Mm -hmm. Good use for him to go for back air at that high up because he lands immediately fast falls. Goes for forward tilt knowing that Elegant will also land. He's trying to make sure he's where Elegant's going to be every single time. That's going to be back throw off the stage. Not enough to kill. Okay, just going to recover low. Going to be respected by Luigi. There we go. Two fares into the back air, but the Cyclone just beats it out on its invincibility. Unfortunate, but Charlie still got a decent sized lead. But you know, this Luigi we're talking about, yeah, anything can happen. And not just any Luigi, it's the Luigi. <laughs> it's, it's the Luigi. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, he tried to go for an air, and he tried to, looks like he tried to drift it back to hit Elegant, but unfortunately, he's going to eat this big punish. Yeah, big combo. Not the, you know, the, the infamous combo, but still got a great amount of percentage off of that. And he's going to finish off with a down throw to up B. Very nice stuff <laughs> from Elegant. Closing it out, coming back. I'm sorry, man. I feel for Charlie on that one. I feel for him so bad because he had a lot of that game. That was all. That was his game to take. <sighs> I'll, I'll let you introduce yourself, good sir. Whenever you're ready. <laughs> you need Okay, okay. Thank you for joining us on the mic today here at Genesis Live. Well, let's get right back into it. Elegant with game one already in his hand. Charlie looking for an opportunity to make sure it was just as close as the first game. Still going. He's actually finding some really good openings with soft, with soft forward airs and low percents. And he wants to, oh, he almost got exactly what I was going to call. He finds almost kill confirms. Opening with a forward air, beautiful double raw back air. Will he get the edge guard? Yeah, he's looking for that, I was going to say, looking for the two frame on Elegant's recovery, but he's not able to get it. But I do like the fact that every time he misses the marker, he backs off because he knows Psycho might be in play. Oh, right, we got to be a little bit careful, but there's the up smash, and he's still got himself a good position. Let's see, gets the neutral air. Forces out the directional air dodge. Can he get a four tilt? Not quite yet. Ooh. I think so. Roll from the ledge a little bit, but he got just caught by that down smash on the reverse side. And I like it. Charlie wanted to make sure he had both options covered. He mixes it up really, really well. He's been going for down smash. He's been going for forward tilt, but the, sorry, up smash. But the down smash finally comes in play. All right, just gonna barely grace past that forward smash. 
still got himself in a bad position. The plunger interrupts the wolf flash too. Waiting now patiently. CDK doing everything he can. Wants to see two forwarders into a raw back air. He wants to go deep. Is it worth it? Yeah. And I admire that elegance using the side B like at a very low recovery usually, or when it's <gasps> oh no, and they oh. will trade in the wrongest of ways. <laughs> Unfortunately, I guess I think Charlie thought that he got hit by the green missile, which yeah. would actually cause a tech chase situation or a tech situation, but uh, that didn't quite happen the way it wanted to. Just as we blink, he has almost already brought it back to a near degree. Just need to find the kill, but brought CDK to 108% unanswered on the second stock. Uses the Zare to get him back. Snap to the ledge. A down B will not quite kill. Mm -hmm. Charlie makes sure he comes right back to the ledge here. He's better safe than sorry. Cyclone Charlie holds the DI in the right way. Yeah, on the ground, you're not going to be dying too early, so he's going to be a little bit safe from that. you got to be worried about him when you get a conversion into the air. Good Nair Drift. I like it. He went for Nair and hit the shield, drifts back. Does want to get grabbed with punishment again, trying to keep it a little bit safe. Okay, Nair to dash attack, bread and butter. Down B, that might cost him the game. It does. So Elegant actually was behind on both games one and game two. The difference was he found that clutch combo on last yeah. start. This case, this time around, Charlie the King did not let him grab it. Yeah, very doing doing a very good job both on the with punishes and just making sure that he's right outside of the range of what Elegant wants to do. So he's able to keep himself in a good position most of the time. Yeah. I I I, I'm sorry, go on. No, no, so I, I understand exactly why he goes for it. Like, he knows full well when you're that far behind, that down B input. You either hit, get the hit, get the kill, or you don't. It's almost yeah. like pump wrestling. Yeah, yeah exactly. you have to go for it. Very, very, very good yeah. analogy on that. I like it. And Charlie knows if I have to, I have to play around Elegant. I can't stay in that range for too long. I have to get in and get out. I have to do that first damage and move as fast as possible here. And Elegant gets a dash attack to put Charlie at the ledge and a grab. This is the thing. Elegant thrives on putting players into the corners. Yes, he does. And you saw just off a single Nair, it didn't matter if the air dodge in place left or right or just fell down. He always found the grab. Given how fast Luis got the and the Ooh. rage that would have been a kill would have avoided Ooh. barely. Yeah, I yeah. thought he almost had the timing on the neutral getup because very obvious Elegant was going for that, but yeah. didn't quite have the timing. That was a test. That was that was a yeah. that was a buy yeah. check from Charlie Man. Interesting use of dash like there, but the back air right there, Luigi can use that as an easy kill confirm if you have the air dodge. No grab right there, but Elegant just happens to stay in center stage, looking for that down into a there. Beautiful grab, what's the combo? Try the eyes out. Okay, there we go, dash attack comes in. I'm trying to chase on the platform again, but Charlie was ready for a counter attack, but Elegant was a bit too good on the spacing, even on shield. Uh, I just got where that anti is now in top eight. He's made it to losers. Oh, nice. Oh, okay. Him and Larry, T1, making sure their players out of here. <laughs> What's the representation? T8, my life. Like, stuff for them. <laughs> Charlie now with his first deficit of the entire set. Will Elegant finally quick down the gimp here? Keeping it safe, up being right to the ledge. Oh, I like it. A little bit of a fake out using the movement. Uh, Ooh. Try, to find, <laughs> try to find a grab, not quite find it. That would have been very bad. Yeah, CDK is just having a, in general, having a hard time closing out the stock. Elegance being a little bit too slippery. That's going to be a ledgery grab. Okay. Even with the parry, he wasn't able to find it. Still no kill. 144 now for Elegant. He uses that down B. Oh, not even his up B. And meanwhile, CDK is happy to two frame that. Yeah. Nice. Trying to cross him with a huge yeah. air. I'm surprised he didn't go for a tomahawk there. Let's see. Grab, dash tag. Okay, oh, down. the Cyclone. Still alive. The best recovery is an offensive one. As you get back from here, gets the extension on the platform. Oh, but another that? Cyclone oh. interrupts the up air, just invincible throughout it. That was a Tasmanian Devil Cyclone. We just got <laughs> caught in the middle of it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, fair near, fair near. Oh, that was almost a FedEx combo. <laughs> Deliver him straight to the last <laughs> one, right? <laughs> I'll give you your tracking number next day delivery. I got you. Don't worry. Charlie, you can, I sense the frustration coming up from Charlie. He's looking for an opportunity to get the combo, but getting hit by that slow cyclone there, that's what kind of cost the confidence to go a little bit down. Mm -hmm. Like You saw in the second game that Charlie was doing a very good job picking his battles and knowing even when he had advantage position when to stop trying to hit buttons. But it looks like on this last stock here, Wow! Oh, yeah. yeah. He just kept trying to go in and then continuing on on the aggression, but Elegant who just thrives off of that. It's like, okay, you're in my range, you're in my bubble, where I can get combo is going, then yeah, I'll just take that to the bank. Yeah, dash grab, things like that. That'll cause Elegant to be alarmed of, okay, I can, you are, you're stepping in my zone. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm still, every time I get to that, it always shakes me up a little bit. Down throw into up B. Of course, you miss that against Wolf at 100%, 100% you get either back air or up smash, or you kind of pick your poison. Yeah. But Elegant's feeling very, very confident here. Takes a 2-1 lead in this set. 
will FDB his demon though. Oh, that was such a smart move to roll because he knows Charlie wants something oh. out there. Oh my god, 80%. 80, 80, 80 into the, the up What an elegant finish! My god! Oh man, you, you said know that, you said this was next day delivery, man. I didn't Bro. know. Bro, I thought this was gonna be next hour at this point. <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's got the pickle recovery. Insane zero to death. Yeah, this is kind of okay. There we go. Re reverse zero to death back from Charlie. <laughs> actually, right. if you if you want to know why these two gentlemen are in top eight and I'm not, <laughs> <laughs> this is this is most likely why. Beautiful display of awareness at percents, doing the combos on FD of all stages to get the kills. Exactly. And Charlie makes sure he's never going to be far behind. I like the fact he doesn't even go for a grab. Tess elegant with the down tilt. Okay, forward air into an up air into a back air. I love it. Yeah, I mean, like on a on a stage like this, basically both these characters are going to be combo. How far can I extend it, and then back to neutral? There's not going to be anything in the way between these two. So which is why I was worried why Charlie picked this stage because Elegant once he gets a combo started, if he has nothing in the way like a platform or anything to interrupt it, then he's it's pretty much easy picking. So yeah, looks like he's doing okay, but oh, he's going to get edge guarded there. No jump. Recovery a little bit. Yeah, I, I don't know. Elegant, you know, he's the kind of player and he's a very burst character, but he can also die in unfortunate circumstances. You really don't want to game five, but look right now that's everything that's in the direction. As CDK gets double fair into a down smash. Yeah, I see Elegant oh. cooling down a little bit here. Usually Elegant is very momentum based. Once he gets the combo going, he doesn't stop until it's over. And I'll give you the hungry update right now. Elegant's face seems composed, but a little worried. <laughs> Yeah, the IRL update. Looking like it's uh, going to be a game five, the way Charlie keeping this up. Yeah. Oh, he falls out. Oh, the oh, Harry! He, he did it again! Charles, <laughs> King Charles in the house. That was massively impressive. There's a smile. El oh. Elegant, that's two times in a row you did that. You uh, you tried to hit him again after you fell out of uh, up smash the first time, and then you just got hit, parried, and then uh, up smash again. That's... I'm, I'm looking too good there. Kind of looking like a, a mashing habit there. If, if it, yeah, if you can't do the punishment, don't do the crime, man. Yeah, it, it's like <laughs> it, it's like the first time he threw out Nair. The second time he threw out Dare. It wasn't much better. Like both of them got parried. <laughs> I think this game five is really going to come down to who parries who first. Yeah. The parries are everything that these characters need. Consider Wolf, what you can do out of the parry, either with a grab or a dab or a dash attack or a, a down smash, even or an up smash. Whereas Luigi, one parry could lead into one grab, or God forbid, one nair. And we know what Elegant can do with one nair. Heaven forbid, one up B, the way that Elegant plays. All right, well, here, let's go to game five. This is best of five winner semis. Only one walks into winner's finals. Town and city, and you saw Elgin get that early nair, but didn't quite convert off of it, and that's the last thing he wants. Every single opening needs to be slightly KO territory mm -hmm. for a guy like Elgin. Whereas Charlie dashing in place, going around these fireballs, giving Elgin a little more respect here, but he's already around 70%, and this might be a kill, and it is because yes. we are in town and city, and Elgin lives here, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, that was the exact worst spot to be in. I respect the attempt <laughs> from Charlie to try and recover back from there, mixing up, using the platform. But Elegant is just aware of it and he said, okay, you know what? This is also going to reverse back into my favorite spot in the entire stage. Dash tag. Charlie looking to make sure the dividends is not going to be that far off. Back there will do it. How quick did he answer this stock? <laughs> this is insane. This set is insane. He's, he's not giving up. Charlie knows what it means to fight Elegant here. He knows he's going to lose those stocks early. He has to keep his mind composed. All right, Henry Tumble goes for a grab. CDK is happy to put three arrows in his face. Look at this, dead even, 40% apiece. Using neutral B in neutral, the way it belongs. With dash attack into a side B, that's gonna hurt. 87, don't get back here, but he does! Yeah. King Charles, now in the lead. He's looking like Lord Charles right now with this lead he has in his hands. Yeah, looking much better on this stage, actually. Here we go, Elegant's got a Opportunity, tries to go for jab, jab, grab. Looked like it was minus on hit, so once they able to finish it off. I do like the fact that Charlie jumps in and jumps out, right? He's looking to be in and out of Elegant's range, trying to go ahead and get him for a whiff on his share. But the Zare is not enough to put Charlie off the stage. No jump from the shield from this match. And I just got a call from the script writers. Apparently, this is definitely going last block last hit. <laughs> <laughs> it, could be a, it could be a prank call, but... Um... Champ. I, I saw Champ with the laptop. I, okay, knew, I, knew, he, he, I knew he was working he, on something. He's got the Google Doc open right now, but yeah. he's erasing some stuff. Let's see what happens. Uh, yeah, they, maybe he has to put in a last-minute edit while we're here. Okay, these dash attacks are a little cocky, but it's not really what he needs because... Oh, no! Is that kill? No, no still Talon City, Talon City's got a tall ceiling, and uh, he's going to be fine just for a little bit longer, but we'll have to see. Yeah, and he wasn't on that raised platform like he was on the first time. <laughs> Elegant. Oh, oh, my God, the slap of the ages. No, not enough. And that's it. Enough, yeah. 
Guys, game five, last stock. Both of these gentlemen have taken six stock from oh, each Charlie, other on the game. Charlie, what did you do? Okay, I was going to say, what did you do wrong, Charlie? Oh, man. Charlie just charging forward. That's the neutral, you madman. Yeah, he's just trying to bait out something here. Of course, it does have low cooldown, so maybe he's trying to try to get Elegant off of that platform there. Finally, he's able to come back. The, ma the Mad King on his Game of Thrones stuff. A big right nair. Back air? Is that it? No, 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 He no, lives. No. <laughs> Not quite. Going to go really low with the recovery. Are we going to respect that? Are we going to see a storybook finish? Oh, oh. He, he didn't have the jump. All right, Charlie. He did not have the jump. Uh, what's a story with a, with a really anti-climactic?